It was an early August day, 2021. I was invited on a five-day trip by longtime channel supporters Kim and Steven. Although we had never met, I felt as though I knew them. Joining them was their longtime friend, Terry. Our destination, Titcom Basin. We are just cruising along. We've been on a steady uphill. Uh, we just reached 10,000 feet. The trail starts at a little over 9,000 feet. We're walking through a section where a microburst had hit and there are a lot of down trees, but they've luckily been cut away from the trail. And uh, yeah, just making our way along. I will break out a map later and uh, show you the route that we're doing. This section of the trail is not looking too pretty. But we will be getting into some pretty views fairly quickly here. We have made it to the very majestic and beautiful photographer's point and you can see why they call it that. The views from here are stunning and I'm very grateful that it's for the most part smoke free, a little hazy, but we can see the views for miles. See everywhere we're going, you know, basically go back in there and Ticcom's right back there. We just left Photographer's Point. We sat and had our lunch there. And while we were sitting, having lunch, some clouds moved in and we think it's about to storm. So we're uh, booking it down a little further down the mountain because now we're at a uh, downhill stretch.
Well, we've got rain and thunder. So we have taken cover. We're getting out our rain gear. And hopefully it doesn't get too bad. <laughs> There's something magical about hiking in the rain, without the lightning, that is. Okay, this is going to be home for the night here on Hobbs Lake. I've actually camped at this exact site uh, back in 2019, and it's a pretty sweet site, so I'm stoked that it was not taken. We're all uh, ready to relax, get uh, camp set up, tent set up, and uh, get a good meal in us later. So you guys are having what for dinner? Elk? Elk ragu. I'm having mac and cheese. Nice. What are, you, what are you? What's your I choice? I don't know yet. I was thinking of trying the um, peak. The funny thing is, is I, you know, I use those rain sounds and thunder sounds to go to sleep at night. But mm -hmm. when it's when it's for real, when it's for real, when it's right next to your tent. <laughs> Good morning from this chilly morning in the Wind River Range. We are done with breakfast and getting camp packed up. The temps have dropped significantly from yesterday. I think the high is only going to be 59, which will be nice because we have some climbing to do today. So that will be a little bit more comfortable for us. As you might have noticed, we changed camps. Uh, we actually saw a spot that was up on a ridge that had a view of both bodies of water and we weren't completely set up. So we decided just to move and we uh, came up to this awesome spot. We experienced some thunder and lightning last night. We weren't expecting it. It wasn't in the forecast. It was quite a show for a while. Anyhow, we're gonna finish getting packed up and hit the trail. Another great day on the trail.
We're stopping here on the shore of Seneca Lake for a snack and a rehydrate, getting some electrolytes in us. We had quite a climb this morning and we have two more big climbs before we get to Island Lake. The weather has held out. We don't have any rain so far, but this dark cloud behind me just passed over and dropped a few drops. But overall, I don't think we're supposed to get any rain. I hope I didn't just jinx us. Sorry if I did, guys. Um, yeah, so we're just having a snack and we're gonna venture on. The sky was darkening and the thunder was rumbling. A storm was coming. We are once again sitting under some trees, hunkered down, waiting out a storm, a thunderstorm. <laughs> uh, we have a big climb ahead of us right now and then one more big climb before we drop into Island Lake. You might hear the thunder and we are uh, just gonna hunker down and hope this passes pretty quickly. We don't wanna be up high while there is lightning. So we're gonna take this opportunity to have our lunch. to the beautiful island lake. However, some weather is moving in, so we are setting up lickety split. We're jamming, we got our tent set up in no time, so I didn't show you any of the setup, but we're ready if it's coming. I'll uh, check back in when hopefully this clears up and maybe we'll have a beautiful sunset. Lightning and thunder waiting at the storm. Yeah. All right, so our options are trash. This would be better on a less vigorous. After the storm, we settled in for dinner and a good night's sleep. Smoke from wildfires and surrounding areas was something we would deal with on this trip. Luckily for us, it wouldn't linger.
Good morning, Kim and Steven. Good morning. Good morning. You guys ready to uh, hit the Titcomb Basin? Oh, yes. heck yeah. Now that we can see it. Yeah. Especially with a pack, I can do this. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. It is a stunning morning here at Island Lake. I'm very relieved to see that it's somewhat clear. There is a little bit of haze from wildfire smoke. However, it blew in quite heavy last night. So with some rains that we had overnight, I think it helped clear things out. We have had our breakfast. We're getting packed up and we are ready to do our hike to Titcom Basin. I'm really excited. All right, just to show you guys what we've done so far, we started at the Pole Creek Trailhead. We followed the Pole Creek Trail. That was all that forested area. We came up this way uh, to Photographer's Point, which was that very beautiful spot with the amazing views, our first real views. We came up here past Eklund Lake, past Barber Lake, and then we camped the first night at Hobbs Lake. On day two, we just kept following the trail up past Seneca Lake, Little Seneca Lake, and then we came up the Indian Basin Trail, and we are now camped somewhere right around here at Island Lake. Today, we're going to Titcom Basin, and we will follow this trail off the map, and I'll show you that tomorrow. We are in the basin. It is absolutely stunning. Everything around here is like a painting. The wildflowers are popping. However, the smoke has returned. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but we're not gonna let that ruin our time. We can still see the peaks around us. It's still gorgeous. And we're still having an amazing day.
Well, the smoke cleared out for the most part and it wound up being an absolutely stunning day. We sat there and uh, enjoyed the views for quite a while. Now we are headed back to camp. back here at camp it wound up being a spectacular day i am so grateful that the smoke cleared out it's absolutely beautiful as you can see i don't need to tell you now it is time for dinner So yesterday we left our camp here at Island Lake and we followed this trail up through here and I'm going to have to flip the map over. We then continued on the trail here and stopped right about here for that nice long break and those amazing views. Today we'll just backtrack the exact way we came from. It was tough to leave our camp at Island Lake, but it was time to pack up and begin our two-day journey back to the trailhead.
We have made it to our final camp of the trip, Eklund Lake. We are happy to have our packs off. We're just trying to figure out where we're gonna set up our tents. And I am looking forward to some lemon cheesecake that the Reeves are going to be sharing with us all tonight. I'm super excited. So I think we are just going to relax here at camp and uh, get ready for our 5.8 mile hike out tomorrow. Just a somewhat short hike, which will be very nice. <laughs> Today our five day adventure was coming to an end. We experienced all types of weather and jaw dropping scenery, but best of all, new friendships were made in the back country. Na 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 da 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 da, na 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 da 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 da.